Anybody jumping on? Uh, hi, I'm Molly. And um, I'm in Loganville, Georgia on Bobby Boss and Pecan Road. There are two abandoned houses and one other one I saw that have been calling me, if you could say that, for some time now. And uh, I finally got here. Um, I'm very nervous. I feel weird. Um, I found a package on the doorstep of these uh, wood, uh, pieces of wood that have been cut from one branch that are meant for decoration, I guess. Brand new package just sitting on this abandoned home's doorstep. I'm a little nervous because I don't really have permission here, I have to admit. Um, I'm just walking around. Um, when I got here, I noticed the, this package on the front doorstep, and I also noticed the door is slightly ajar, but it is definitely a wreck in there. It, it would be very, very, very dangerous for me to go inside this house. Um, so we're just on the outside, and I don't want to get in trouble by anyone either. Um, but I did look inside. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys kind of peek inside, see what I saw. It's kind of creepy. Um, the whole way here, I've been feeling super excited and anxious. I got here, I got nauseated, I felt funny, I got names. I got the names Joyce, Lance, Gertrude. Um, I just want you guys to see inside here real quick. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see what's going on inside this place. Okay, you see? Old door. There's nobody here. Uh, I don't even know the address, to be honest with you. It's very busy freeway nearby. I have a feeling these are going to get torn down pretty quick. That might be why I was drawn here. I'm going to try to go by the library later and see if I can find out any more information about this place or anything else in Loganville where I live. Um, but I did get those names, Lance, Gertrude, and Joyce. Um, just funny. Uh, those are such random names. But um, I did a little bit of a conveyance today. I got a surprise from Spirit this morning on my walk for somebody. And I had another name that was pretty close. <laughs> so anybody here? Hello. I've got Christoph Broom. I've got Caitlin Shallon, Marie Jane Nicole, Charlene Miller, User, blah, blah, all you guys. All right, to update you, I'm here in Loganville, Georgia, where I live. I've been thinking about this house behind me for a long, long time, feeling like I needed to come here and investigate, just feeling very strong. Last night, I was up all night thinking about this house. So I'm finally here. Um, I found a package when I got here, everybody. The package was brand new on the doorstep. It doesn't even have an address. That's how beat up this house is, y'all. Um, and there was these place setting things for, I'll show you. I've never done this, by the way, you guys. You're my first time, these um, little slices of wood that you can make into place settings, I guess, for weddings and so forth. Well, anyway, hi there. Who said, hey, Molly? Hi, Dreamcatcher. So anyway, I'm in front of this abandoned house. And also behind me, there's another one I think is abandoned. Can you see that, y'all? Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of tripping out. It's been a crazy night, a crazy day, tons of psychic input. I'm having a hard time breathing. I felt nauseated a minute ago when I was behind the house. I did film some other stuff I'll post later. Um, haven't seen anything, but I did get three names, y'all, and your witnesses. I got, hi, I got Joyce, Gertrude, and Lance. Those names came to me standing outside this house. Um, so I'm going to guess they probably lived here or they've been here. I'm getting a little bit of a headache above my right eye. I don't get headaches. That usually is spirit intervention, just so you all know. You did a reading for me on Instagram. Melissa's my name is spot on. Thank you. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you, Dreamcatcher. You're right. I remember you. I remember a lot of, I remember all of you, actually. Sometimes not by name, but if you bring up what I talked about, yeah. And by the way, I had a really exciting morning speaking of that. Um, I had a client or somebody who saw me here on TikTok ask me about her deceased mother. And on my walk today, she came to me and gave me very clear information, which I told her, and all of it was correct. I got a chill just telling you guys. So um, I'm getting better and better at really receiving spirit message. It's pretty exciting. That's really what I want to do more than anything. Um, you can see the back of this house. You guys see how beat up it is? I'm sure you can even feel the vibe through the camera. I feel really weird right now. They're definitely watching me. I can feel it. 
Um, one of them poked me in the neck a bit ago. It didn't feel very nice. <laughs> Uh, but understand, spirit tries to contact you any way they can. Uh, it's a new language for them. So sometimes they don't really know how. Um, would you love the truth from your father? Yeah. Um, right now, I can't do that. But you can certainly private message me or send me an email, K at yahoo.com. I am very backed up, you guys. So please don't be angry at me. I will get to you. I won't forget anybody. It may be a while, though. Um, as you can imagine, I can only do so many of these a day. More likes can attract... Oh, that's the message. <laughs> All right, guys. So, again, I'm at an abandoned house. I've been dreaming about it. I've driven by it. I've seen it. It is falling apart. It's a little bit scary. I feel really weird. Uh, it, I got names, Gertrude, Lance, and Joyce. So I will definitely go by and see if I can find a town historian to see. There's also a graveyard directly across the street I'm thinking of exploring. I didn't even notice before. One of the things that's interesting about Georgia since I moved here, because I'm from California mostly, is that um, they won't move graves. Uh, it's a very, you know, religious area. So sometimes you'll drive by and see like two gravestones in the middle of a parking lot or right next to a Walgreens or something. It's so weird. I've been waiting on my mom's spirit. For me or just in general? I lived on the Central Coast mostly. I did live in Long Beach for a while, um, but I'm from um, Santa Maria, and I grew up there, and then I lived in Arroyo Grande, Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo area most of my life. Just moved here a couple years ago. Anyway, um, and that's also a spirit story I won't get into right now. Um, but my God, you guys, this house is so full of energy, and I don't feel like there's any specific message, everybody, and I don't know why it drew me here today. I mean, it really was persistent last night. woke me up many times from me. You're waiting for, okay, you're probably on my list. I'm sure you are. I haven't forgotten you. As a matter of fact, I will probably be doing more conveyances today when I say, yes, I remember the cousin one. Oh, you're from Atascadero. Yes, yes, the Central Coast is very spiritual. Lots of Native American energy there, and I'm not Native American, but I certainly pick up on it. Um, if you've been waiting for a reading from me, whether it be tarot or to contact a loved one that's passed on, don't think for a minute I forgot you. I would never do that. I know how important it is. I just am one person. And you guys, the energy it takes up for me is overwhelming. So I can only do a few a day. I'm in Georgia. I'm in Loganville, Georgia. I'm about mm, an hour from Atlanta. Um, Anyway, I didn't get anything else from this house just now, y'all. Um, I've been here for about a half an hour. Oh, you hear static? Oh, there's a lot of traffic. That's what you're hearing, honey. Um, but I did hear three names, Joyce, Lance, Gertrude. I will definitely look that up. Yeah, you're hearing cars in the background. There's a highway right behind me. And then, like I said, there's a graveyard across the street. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look at this other house. It also caught my eye. And there's another one I saw that I may be able to jump onto the property. I just don't want to get in trouble. You live on the Trail of Tears. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, don't mess around with that Native American energy. They know what they're doing. They're not dumb. They know how the world works, the universe, spirits, everything. So, um, as a matter of fact, the house I live in right now, I'm pretty convinced is built on something Native American. We have so much activity in a specific area of the house. It's crazy. You have Cherokee blood. Wow, that's bizarre. Like, I mean, how cool is that? Um, anyway, I probably need to get off property. I see somebody walking towards me probably wondering what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I shouldn't be over here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty cool, right? Good morning. So this house, too, is looking pretty pretty shab. See behind me. So beautiful, though. I always feel bad when these houses are abandoned. It makes me sad. I'm in Georgia. I'm in Loganville, Georgia, looking at houses that appear to be abandoned. Now, here's something interesting. I'm looking here. Again, there's a ton of packages on the porch, y'all. Packages, like Amazon packages. You want to see? But it's like there's really nobody here. It doesn't make sense. I don't want to go in. I don't want to play with their pack. Oh, my God. There's like, what is going on here? You guys, look. One, two, three, four, five Amazon packages. Can you guys see these? None of them have been touched. Someone is in there in here, you think? Why aren't they picking up their packages then? This is so weird, you guys. And I, I'm not going to steal. I don't want to steal from anybody, but I certainly, I certainly don't want to um, just leave them here to rot. 
I'm gonna see if there's dates on these packages, y'all. Oh my God, there is definitely energy in here, everybody. Ooh. This one, 1215. Oh my God, some of these packages are years old, y'all. I wonder if I should pick these up. What do you guys think? Don't touch them. I'm not knocking on the door. You guys are horrible. I'm not going to knock on the door. If there's homeless people in there, weirdos, right? Go have Amazon accounts. <laughs> Pick them up. Everybody wants me to look. Okay, well, you know what? There's names on them. <clears throat> Obviously, from now. Um, you guys, this is a moral issue. They're not my packages to open. This isn't my house. I could get in a lot of trouble for even standing here. Um, but I'm thinking I could get them to the right people. Maybe I can find them. And that way, I'm not being a jerk. <laughs> right? Okay, well, let's look in the window. Hopefully, again, I don't get in trouble. I'll have to tell them what I'm doing. I think I'm crazy. All right, y'all, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm looking. Everybody, can you see inside? Can you see inside? I'm looking. It looks like someone tore the carpet up. Oh my God, what a great little house. Oh, you guys, it makes me sad to see houses left like this. It really does. Look through the window and see if anybody's living there. It's empty, then you know. No, it doesn't look like anybody's in there at all, you guys. It's falling apart. It's probably actually quite dangerous if I were to try to go inside, just like the other house. Just knock and tell them about the packages. Yeah. Hey, ghost, you got packages here, y'all. <laughs> Probably home foreclosure. You know what? There's a lot of very old homes where I am right now. Oh, I'm sweating, you guys. There's definitely spirit here. Oh, my God. I'm so hot. This happened to me earlier. Oh, my God, you guys. This is wild. All right. You know what? I I'm going to open the boxes. The only thing is my car's kind of far away, and I don't think I can carry all this over there well. Um, so what's the names? Oh, good question. <clears throat> We've got William... Clay is one. God, I look terrible. God, what is going on? It must be the camera. Um, William Clay. Oh my God, I just heard something, you guys. I'm not kidding. What the fuck was that? Is there somebody in there? Hello? I swear, you guys, I heard somebody walking around in there. That's freaking me out. Okay. Let me step back for just a minute. I, I feel a lot of spirit energy. I don't know if that's a real person or if that's just me, but I feel it. Oh my God, you guys. Thank you. I am being careful. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> at least look at the names. We got Nakita, spelled N-A-K-I-T-T-A, -T -T white, as in the color. Yes, I'm not going to play with the packages, you guys, I promise. Um, we also have one that I can't even read. It's been there so long. Um, I've got another one that says... You guys, these are so old, you can't even read them. This one says, Lavar, L-A-V-A-R. That's all. This other one says, ooh, it's heavy. This one says, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm really bad at this camera. Also Lavar. But I think that might be where it came from. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Sorry about the bad camera stuff here. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at <laughs> Ah, you guys. Um, there is no mailbox. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. These houses are abandoned. There's nobody here. Um, this stuff obviously has been sitting here for probably years. Hold on, y'all. You guys still there? Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know what just happened. I am trespassing. You're correct. I'm just looking. That's all I'm doing. Um, yeah, I feel like I should leave too. Um, but I would like to get these packages to the people they're supposed to go to. Really, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm actually trying to be helpful. And that might be why I was drawn here, is I'm supposed to help. I'm not, I'm in um, Loganville. I'm not a jerk. I'm not a pirate. I'm not going to steal. We got um, a book. I'm just peeking. Another book. It's already ripped open, by the way. Another, yeah, you know, bring it to the post office. You're right. That's a great idea, y'all. Or return them to Amazon, you know, or donate them maybe. Gloves? No, I don't have gloves. <laughs> I'm being gross. Um, let's see what the other ones might have if they're open, okay? There was on two of them, but honestly, I don't even see addresses here, y'all. And there's a, police, there's a police car right there. I can see where I'm sitting. Um, and, you know. Okay, 
Okay, so let's see what this other one looks like. This one has head stethoscopes. I'm not opening them, you guys. They're, they're, look at, it's literally open on its own. I haven't done anything but put them in a pile. If someone isn't there, it could be, I know, I'm going to leave in about five seconds, you know. So there's two stethoscopes, like doctor stethoscopes in this one. This one is closed. I won't open it. Feels like a big box. This one is open-ish. Something in here. I don't know. I don't know what's in here, you guys. But like I said, I don't want to. Um, I didn't. It was already ripped, you guys. I would not do that. Um, I'm not opening them, y'all. I'm not opening them. But look how, look, they're falling apart, everybody. They're wet. They're falling apart. They're opening on their own. Don't call the police on me. This one's still closed. I haven't done anything to it. This one was already open. It's got stethoscopes in it. These other two have books in them. They were already ripped open. So stop it, you guys. <laughs> I'm not a jerk. I really am not. If you know me, you know I'm not an asshole. All right. So all of you... Highly moral people that are lecturing me about opening packages understand I was drawn here today. I was told to come here. Okay. I was kept awake all effing night because of this place and the other one over there. So um, you can be whatever you want with me, but I'm telling you, they asked me to come here. Okay. So, and obviously nobody's been here and who knows how long because these packages have been sitting here so long. They're wet and falling apart. Call the police. Hmm. I'm not going to call police. Why should I? There's a police. You guys want to see? There's a policeman right there. You want to see him? See him? Okay. I'm not trying to be sneaky. I'm not trying to be cute. It's just me. I'm not trying to. Yeah, I'll call the post office. Absolutely. You're asking me to leave. You guys, it's okay. I, I totally, look, I protected myself before I left. I don't have a bad feeling at all. It's just trippy. It's just sad to me. I feel very sad about it, honestly. Um, well, interesting. The vibe at the red house over here, you guys see? The one that originally I thought I was supposed to be looking at? That one gave me a very interesting vibe. I felt nauseated. Somebody poked me. I got three names. Gertrude, Joyce, and Lance on the other house. Um, here... I do feel weird. My heart's pounding very hard, y'all. But I did do something smart. Um, <laughs> wouldn't work in court. For what? What am I doing? I'm not doing illegal. They're standing on their front lawn. And like I said, there's a cop right there. You see the cop car right there by that blue sign? And if you ask me what I'm doing, I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm just here. I felt like I needed to come over here. I didn't tamper with the mail. I just put it in a pile. That's all I did. Look. It's right there. I haven't touched it. I'm not going to move it. It's right there. I'm going to let Amazon or the post office know what's going on. That's all. Uh, I am near a freeway, you guys, so there's a lot of car traffic you're hearing. So that might be what you're hearing. Yeah, I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, y'all. Do wellness check. Exactly. Um, you guys, there's nobody in there. The place is absolutely abandoned. There's no joke. I didn't Okay, you can say I opened it on live. I didn't. It was wet and it ripped open and I didn't touch it. It's still sitting there, you guys. All right, I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to talk about it again. You guys don't like it? Leave. Um, what's my point? Get off the property? Okay, obviously you don't know what I do for a living. I am a psychic and I help spirits. That's my job is to help spirits help you guys. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm not here to be a jerk and I'm not here to be sensational. It's just me. I don't have a camera crew. I don't have an agenda. Okay, you guys? What I did was deliberate. Okay, whatever. Get me in trouble. I don't care. I haven't done anything wrong. So, um, as I walk back here, I'm going to just let you guys look inside real quick, and then we're going to leave, because I don't need any trouble. You guys see? This is an old kitchen. Uh, it just looks like it's just been ransacked and left alone for who knows how long, right? Um, yes, I do need a moderator. You're right. So, okay. So I'm done going near the houses, y'all. I'm not going to be near the houses anymore. The echo stopped when I moved away from the porch. That's really interesting. Hmm. So here's what I'm going to do, everybody. 
I um, brought my sketchbook with me. I'm going to sit down by this tree here. It's probably wet on the ground, so I think I'll put my jacket down so I don't get myself all wet, right? <sighs> PayPal addresses for what? I don't charge anybody for anything. <laughs> you guys, I don't charge for people. <laughs> I don't charge people. I'm not about that. All right. Yeah, I know. I have an eerie feeling here, too. But, God, they really wanted me to come here today. You guys seriously cut me up all night. I've passed this house so many times. Oh, thank you. See, I'm so pretty. I feel like I look terrible on this. I look all wrinkly and weird. I think it's just the quality of the film and being outside and all that. But anyway, or maybe I am old. I don't know. You'll be my mod? Oh, that would be wonderful. All right. Oh, Asheville. I love Asheville. I've been thinking about going there. It's so funny. Somebody just said they were from Asheville. Um, one of my friends is from there. They have a great museum. And um, thank you. Thank you. My hair's kind of messy, right? It's very human, you guys. Hopefully nobody sees me sitting by the tree here. Pen, paper. Um, Asheville's cool. I've been wanting to come. I was thinking about going there this weekend, as a matter of fact, just for the holiday. So I have a sketchbook, everybody. I haven't done this on TikTok yet, but I draw things. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm not going to worry about blocking people. I don't have to pay attention to them. It's fine, y'all. Um, and I draw things, and sometimes I don't know what the heck I'm drawing. As a matter of fact, sometimes I will draw something, forget about it, show it, and then somebody goes, I know who this is. So I'm going to show you guys some pictures. If any of them come to you, let me know. There's this one. And it looks like I drew this in September this year. I wrote the name Stuart down. Does anybody recognize this guy? I'm in Georgia. <laughs> the devil's whispering in my ear. No, it doesn't look like that. And I don't know why you'd be here if that's what you believe. So please go away. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and just see if a drawing comes out of this whole thing. As I'm talking to you guys. Florida here... That is a fairy tale. Yeah, could be. Um, you're in Georgia at the beach. Okay, you guys. <sighs> Stewart's mail I opened. I didn't open it, so I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Those that know me know all of my intentions are always good. I'm never here to exploit, make fun of, be disrespectful. And of course, I'm not perfect. I do make mistakes. Um, but guys, really, I, I have the best intentions, trust me. That's why I don't charge for what I do. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to do what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and just let the pen just do what it wants to do as I'm talking to y'all. We're going to see what comes up. Someone says they need me today. You can private message me, but I'm telling you guys, I'm so behind right now because so many of you have reached out to me for help. And I can only do so much per day. So I'm happy to help all of you. But please be patient with me. And if I already said I was going to do a reading for you, uh, you can remind me to, to check to see kind of where I am with your reading because I don't, um, there's always rude people. Don't worry about it. You guys, I appreciate you defending me. Don't worry about it. There's always going to be somebody, you know, I can't please everyone. It's just how it is. I just know the work I'm doing is good. You can ask anybody I've helped. They all appreciate what I've done. I appreciate spirit telling me what I need to know. Okay. I'm getting a picture here. You guys, it's a kid. It's a child. I think. Pop, dreams of your pop. I don't know. I've never, uh, I, I can't tell you if I can draw them. I can try, certainly. Right now is not the right time. Um, you can private message me on any social media. I really appreciate if you guys follow me on um, YouTube. That's really amazing. Uh, I'm trying to grow my audience. I only have 100 followers there, you guys. Um, and, that, and the reason I want to grow my audience is I keep I want to keep doing this for free. I don't want to charge. I'd rather let corporate America pay me, right, if anybody does. Um, so that's why I always ask you guys to follow me. It's not like I'm trying to be cool or anything. I'm just trying to. Okay, so this little girl, I think it's a little girl, uh, just came out right away. And I think that this is Gertrude, the one I dreamed of. Okay, you guys, this is a horrible drawing, by the way. <laughs> this is how they come out for me, and I really don't know what I'm drawing. So I think this might be Gertrude, the one that, the, the name that came to me. That's what I thought of, so I'm going to write that down on here. I'm going to write the date. Today's the 27th. I'm shaking, you guys. I'm not sure what's going on. There is something at the window. Oh, great. That's freaking me out. You might be right. I did feel like something was watching me. Um, I'm debating whether I should leave, y'all. 
Um, again, I don't want to be disrespectful to spirit. Oh, I saw it too. Oh my God, you guys, my arm here standing up. Um, I don't think that's a person though, you guys, I'm pretty sure it's spirit. Um, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> oh, you guys, things are getting active. Um, sorry. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm quivering, and so yeah, there's a spirit. I can feel it. Um, I keep getting the name Charlie. Hain? Hain? H A Y N E? Hain? That's a weird name. I don't know if you guys can hear there's footsteps all around me crunching the leaves. Can you guys hear that? Thank you, Carmen. Did you guys hear that? Oh, now it's starting to wet. Is it raining? Uh, you guys, I'm fine. I'm just being silly. Yeah. That's what I got, Charlie. Yeah, I got Charlie and Hain. H-A-Y-N-E? Hain? Can I show me? Can you show me a picture? I don't know. Can you? I, you guys remember, I can't read every single message you guys are putting up. Ways to keep a hat on to keep yourself cloaked until you want to be noticed. Oh, interesting. Interesting comment. Hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe Hain is his last name. Very possible. I'm going to write that down just so I don't forget it, right? Charlie Hain? Like I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to go research this, you guys. Um, I do, I do pick up actual names for people. What just hit me? What the heck was that? Um, I do pick up names, you guys, a lot of the time. Um, do I feel safe? Yeah, I don't feel like there's anything bad happening here, you guys. It's just creepy. It's always creepy to, to talk to spirit. Um, because it's, it's, it's so, um, foreign, right? I mean, even though I do this kind of work, it's still weird to me because every spirit comes through differently. Your grandma died at six. I'm so sorry, love. I have a bird visitor probably pooping on my head, huh? You just read the word Haynes on a clothing tag. Ah, that's possible. I picked that up. Um, the person who said their grandma died. I'm so sorry to hear that, honey. I know, it's hard. My grandma came to me in my dreams last night, as a matter of fact. That's why I look so tired, everybody. I had a bad night. I just didn't sleep well. I dreamt about this house. The house was calling me. My grandma came to me. Oh, my God, you guys. How long have I been doing this today? About it. Probably a half the time is it. Almost exactly an hour. God, it's already been an hour. I feel like I've been here five minutes. Kelly says I had a loss today. I'm so sorry. Everybody, this is the first time I've done this. I've never gone to a location like this to try to pick up spirit energy, but I really felt it. Your dad comes to you in dreams. Boy, that's amazing. That's awesome, you guys. Is my shop going to be okay? Good friend died last week. Freak accident. Oh, golly, you guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is me. <clears throat> no being a medium. What does that mean? Uh, I'm in. I'm in Georgia. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, <clears throat> so when my throat does this, this means there's a message coming. It's my throat chakra closing up um, because there's a message that's trying to come out. <clears throat> I've had them since I. I guess most of my life. Um, I drowned when I was a child, and I had a near death experience. Thank you for the crown. Whoever sent that to me. Um, and, um, uh, I've had them my whole life, but I didn't really understand them until the last couple of years. And I'm still learning everybody. This is so new to me. Um, so I appreciate all you jumping in here and giving me an input. I do really appreciate it. Um, as you see, I'm extremely tired. I had a very rough night. That's why I finally came over here. I've been wanting to check this out, curious about it, and a little bit freaked out. Aw, you guys are being so wonderful. Oh, you do. Do you do you have to clear your throat a lot? I do that a lot. So, um, but I, I'm not getting anything yet. So as soon as I do, I'll, I'll start talking. But I did get the name Charlie and Hain, and I keep seeing uh, a, a guy with like like a like a welder's hat, a welder's hat on him. Um, I'm guessing maybe that's you know what he did for a living. I don't know. Um, someone says they feel it too. Um, Hi, Charles. 
I'm actually think I'm talking to a Charles perhaps or a Gertrude or a Joyce or a Lance. Ooh, Lance. When I said Lance, you guys, I got a jolt. Sorry it's so loud. There's a lot of traffic out here. It was a Lance. The energy feels heavy, but you guys, what I'm feeling is they feel forgotten. It's not so much angry. It's not malicious. Hi from Chicago. Hi, Australia. It's a, we've been forgotten. Um, these poor houses, you know, houses in my opinion have souls too. Oh, you said your grandmother's name is Gertrude. Whoa, trip. Same Charles. And I mentioned Gertrude. It's very possible, Charles, I'm getting a feed for you. That does happen. Hi, California. Um, and that may be totally separate of this situation. She just might have tuned into me. I'm in Georgia too. Hi. Yes, loss of psychics in Asheville. Absolutely. One of my favorite, favorite mentors is Joshua P. Warren. Owns the Asheville Haunted Museum, I think. Your husband is a blacksmith. Oh, wow. Am I picking up you guys? No, I know. I'm not. I don't take anything as disrespect. Show Charles a picture. Oh, okay. Charles, there's two pictures I, I just... You guys, I have a lot more pictures at home. I'm going to have to show them to you guys. Here's the first picture. I drew this back in September. His name is Stuart, y'all, if you happen to recognize. Kind of an unsavory guy, I think. I don't know. I might be wrong on that one. Then this was Gertrude. I just drew her. Let me get to Gertrude. Where did I put her? Sorry, Gertrude. I just did this. Gertrude. This is Gertrude. And again, I'm not the best artist in the world when it comes to this stuff. This is more spirit drawing, not me. I am an artist, by the way, and that's not how I draw. That's Gertrude. I have another one I just found. I love this one. It looks very Native American to me. This one's an oldie, if anyone recognizes. Sometimes people do. You guys would be shocked how many times I pull these things out. People go, oh, I know who that is. It's weird. And that one I drew, it looks like. November 5th at 11.04 a.m. I drew this guy, woman or man. I'm not even sure, honestly. I believe it's a Native American. I did show Gertrude. He didn't say anything. Um, anyways, I apologize. I looked so thrashed today. I just slept so bad last night. Yeah, it's a young girl. I definitely get that energy. Um, I feel like there was a lot of love in this red house over here. I don't think it was nefarious or bad or anything like that. The blue house behind me, though, does have a little bit of a weirder vibe. And I'm trying to figure out why there's all these packages to random people sitting on the porch. It's like Mary J. Joe Moore. I don't know who that is. Did Charlie have a wife named Ruby? I, I wouldn't know. In the window again? Hell no. <laughs> Here's the thing, you guys. I'm trespassing, and I don't want to get in trouble. I mean, I'm just sitting here in the woods at the bottom of a tree, which is fairly harmless. But as soon as I got up on that porch, thank you. Um, as soon as I got up on the porch and started moving packages around, everybody freaked out. So I, I don't want any trouble. I'm not here to cause trouble. I don't know, but I would not mess with that stuff. Of course you wouldn't. I mess with it because I'm here to help. I'm a positive energy, you guys. I'm always positive. I'm not here to find nasty stuff at all. I'm here to give closure to spirit. I'm here to give closure to whoever needs it. That's my job. It's in the window again. Ooh. Yeah, the picture don't look like her. Okay, well, it's just that might just be a matching energy, and I don't call it coincidence. That is definitely spirit guide uh, connecting for you, Charlie, and I'm really glad that I was able to do that for you. Yes, I do connect with past loved ones. Yeah, I do. How did I get my gift? Um, I drowned when I was five, and upon doing so, um, I met a spirit guide, which turned out later I found out was my great-great-grandmother, Hancha, who went by, her real name was Henrietta. She went by Yetta. I didn't know she went by Hancha. I found out later on after she introduced herself to me. I, oh, I didn't think you were being rude. No. Um, after she introduced herself to me, I asked my mother if I had a relative named Hancha, and it turns out it was this grandma, great grandmother of mine. I didn't even know. Um, do I do them over live or private? Um, I do them privately normally. Um, what I do is a video, just like my. If you watch any of my little videos, it's exactly like that. I just pull the cards. I do a video, I send you the link, only you can see it in me. The only other thing I can do is spirit conveyance where I actually speak to past loved ones. I haven't done it as much as I would like to, um, but I've been doing more of it lately. And quite frankly, it's um, been pretty 
I'm sorry, I'm going to pick this up so I can hold it. It's been pretty astonishing, to be honest with you. Um, I do pick up names. I do pick up um, very specific information that is, I call it non googleable I can't look it up. If you ever, uh, the Indian lady I drew is an ancestor or guide, very possible. I'm going to imagine most of the things I draw are somehow connected in some other way. Um, but anyways, I have a feeling I'm going to get kicked out of here in a minute. So I'm going to just do a little bit longer, you guys, and then we'll see if I can find out more information. I'm going to go to another location. Uh, there's also a graveyard here in Loganville I've been looking at, uh, thinking I need to go over there. So I might kind of cruise by there and maybe just walk around a little bit, see what I come up with. I won't get in trouble there, everybody. Um, Anyway, you were asking about my gifts. So after I had that experience as a kid, I had a lot of psychic ability. And if any of you have psychic ability, um, you may find that people mistake it as a mental illness. And I went to doctor after doctor when I was a kid. My parents thought I was crazy. I would have these repetitive, scary dreams. And I would wake up screeching. And I would talk to people that weren't there. And, you know, all the stuff you guys hear about kids that are psychic. But my parents, and they weren't religious in any way. Um, they just didn't understand. They thought uh, I, I was mentally ill, which I guess most parents would think. And I thought I was mentally ill most of my life. And I would hear, hear things and think things and repetitively and not understand why. And what I found was that spirit, later when I figured it out, was trying to talk to me. And I thought it was my own thoughts being repetitive. And what it was, was spirit just poking me, going, come on, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. So a couple of years ago, I made a decision that I wanted to start using my abilities. I just had too many um, events that I could not possibly explain with people near me that also saw it. And uh, so now I've embraced it. And, and, be, and it gets stronger and stronger, you guys. Once you start doing it and you start believing in yourself and realizing you really do have a gift, you guys will be shocked at how much stuff starts coming to you. It's a trip. I mean... Even this morning, uh, I was watching a television show that a friend recommended to me where uh, celebrities, celeb I'll help you, um, celebrities go back to places where they have paranormal experiences with the psychic, and then the psychic tries to clear up the situation for them, explain to them what happened, okay? So I'm watching the show, and I got like 10 minutes into the show, and I already knew what happened. And sure as shit, you guys, I was right. I'm glad you can relate. I've found most people I know are psychic relate to that. So other things about being psychic, you guys, is we're very emotional people. Uh, we take, we tend to have autistic um, or ADHD traits. Um, are you kidding? Stormy? Charlie Haynes worked as an auto mechanic specialized motors and passed in 2017? Wow. You guys just saw it there. I didn't make it up. Although that was Googleable, Googleable information if you found it, but I, I didn't know that. You know what, though? This house looks like it's been abandoned longer than that, though, y'all. Um, maybe he just owned that house. Maybe he had a connection to that house. Maybe one of the packages is from that guy. But I don't think he lived there. This house looks like it's been empty for a very long time. I could be wrong. I'm gonna, I'll find out. Cops don't believe me for nothing. Um, are you talking about you've tried to help cops with cases with your ability? You can get it back. Alicia, you can get it back. Maybe I'll do a live about that sometime in the near future. You have a kind of spirit, lots of energy. Yes, I do have a kind spirit. You're right, I do. I love everybody, y'all. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm here to help. And I think spirit knows that. I think that's why it calls me all the time. And it's gotten so strong, you guys. And it's overwhelming. <sighs> I will tell you guys, it is overwhelming. It takes a lot of energy. That's the reason I can't get through my readings so fast, y'all. I love you too. Thank you. Um, if I do like oh, four or five readings a day, I'm friggin' tired, you guys. I, I feel sick almost. It really wears me out. I'm not making it up. Spirits used to ring glasses in my home. Yep. Yep. I didn't notice your eyes looked. I'm so tired right now. You're 100% right. I look like crap today. <laughs> I slept.